Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It is Feyenoord up against Club Bruges. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. And slipped through beautifully. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And a short corner, let's see. And a useful cross. And in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Van Aken read it superbly to take back possession and nicely struck well the keeper did his job didn't really have to work hard in all honesty well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays... Can't miss, surely! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Trying to pick out a teammate, and still dangerous. And a time for calm on the ball. Pedersen, on attacking possibilities. Opportunity to take the lead. In it goes, the opening goal in this contest. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Goal! So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Van Aken. and a fine tackle is it going to end up being productive for them well disappointing end to the move Clinton Mata and possibilities inside the box Saved by the keeper. Now how about the short corner? Delivering it into the box. Not away completely. Danger averted for now. He has teammates around him. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business.
And there it is, the half-time whistle. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And they continue to advance and a lot of options here. Surely, and they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Hans van Aken. They do pass the ball with authority. Options in the middle. Can they take the lead here? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Noah Lang. Van Aken. Lang. Oh, splendid skill. He must finish! Well, fantastic reflex action. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Skimming the crossbar, so unfortunate, Stuart. Well, it just doesn't come down in time, does it? But it's a wonderful effort, you have to say. Sebastian Szymanowski. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. And foul it is then. And the substitution will occur now. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. Twenty minutes remaining. Could be a chance to break here. Well, it petered out. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And he whips it in. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Usama Idrisi still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it he's got to score and it's in they're back in front stunning scenes here
Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Clinton Mata. Lang on the attack in the closing phase. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, they can bring it out now. Sebastian Szymanski. There to take it away. Now options are plenty. This could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Van Aken. Oh, it might be. Oh, keeper in control. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. And a substitution in the offing. And over it comes. And first-class defending, cleared off the line. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Well, behind for another corner. And he's fired over the corner. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.